Okay, I guess I'm telling my whole story. Okay. So, after I had COVID, I had a surgery that I was supposed to do, you know, on my back. Um, they were like, you can't do the surgery until you get a negative COVID test. I stayed in quarantine for 12 days. Um, but mostly because... I was in so much excruciating pain and the only way to help would be to go get that surgery that I couldn't get until my test was negative. So I was just kind of trapped there just waiting. Um, I was ordering a lot of food but like at one point I had no appetite at all. Like my brother's girlfriend was nice enough to bring me some food. I was ordering a lot of DoorDash. I never used DoorDash before. Um, I was using Instacart. I was eating a lot of fruit. That was good. Um, like, literally, like, there was days where I would only eat fruit. <laughs> um, and, like, nothing else. And then, um, yeah, so, like, there was, like, uh, two days where I had, like, a fever. But it was, like, this one specific night that I was just, like, wow. Like, can I actually make it through? But it's, like, do I go to the hospital when I already know I have COVID? It was, like, really weird. And just mentally, I was just so drained. And, like, I'm still kind of getting over the breakup at this time. Like, holy shit, I'm still getting over the breakup right now. <laughs> this is three months ago. And, um, I, it was just terrible. It was just so terrible. And then, so I make it through quarantine. It's day 12. I you know i test myself every day um the self-test and then finally i saw it was negative so i was so excited so i like called the doctors and i was like yeah like schedule me asap for like my back procedure like my back injection and then they're like okay so they go schedule me and then um what happened next okay so then i think the last like big holy shit thing that happened Okay, Facebook. Facebook, like, you have eight messages waiting for you. I ain't got no fucking eight messages. So, I probably do. So, basically, um, it's, like, the first day out of quarantine. So, I think it's, like, day, like, 13. So, like, day 12, I saw a test was negative. I was like, yeah, run me that freaking neck injection, or, like, back injection. And then, um, sorry. So then, I'm like, okay, oh, I'm finally leaving. I'm finally leaving um, this apartment. And then, uh, I go, I haven't even really left for the day. There's like a bunch of stuff I want to do. I want to get my nails done. I want to go get groceries. I want to do everything. I haven't even left the house yet. Haven't even left. My other little brother calls me from my mom's place. He's like, yeah, so you know the car, like, okay. So he's like, oh, the police just came and said like, my brother's car was stolen and they found it. I'm like, um, not the car that's like here, like parked like, two no like 500 feet away i'm like no there's no way like i've been here the whole time i've been in quarantine but i've been here like i think i would notice someone literally like just like leaving with the car i go to the parking lot the car is not there the car is not there while i was in quarantine someone came into this parking garage with the parking key like there's like a gate key mind you if they waited for someone else to open it i guess they could leave but they had to hotwire the vehicle first so they hotwired my brother's car they took it out of the gate so they had to wait for someone i don't know what time or what day they did this because i was in quarantine for 12 days um and then we had to like <laughs> we had to like call the police like i had to do a police report and then since my brother 
is like overseas they created another level of complication it was just like day we're still dealing with this car situation i've never heard of anyone actually stealing a car like you know like you just hear like oh they actually like stole his car while i was here in quarantine and i was supposed to be watching it they actually stole his car and then they go to the police station, they're like, there's not much you can do, your brother has to do this, the police come, I tell them everything I know, like, they just, like, stole this car, I was just here, and then just to make, just to add insult to injury, the policeman was like, oh, were you over 18? Like, like, basically, the police first tried to see if maybe I just took my brother's car for a joyride when I have a car that's, like, 10 years newer than my brother's car um or like yeah not 10 is it 10 years newer sorry it's not 10 years newer it's only two years newer but it looks amazing anyways i like my little toyota um so yeah someone really stole this car and i had talked to police and all this and there was weirdos going off with the police there was like towing because the car didn't run anymore someone left at the side of the road but when i tell you this just the craziest experience was just like trying to move the fuck away from one toxic situation and then just like i truly 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 like deep in my soul i think god was like it's time like you need to you won't set up the correct boundaries and your standards are not correct and you're suffering so you need to cut this shit off like i think god was like you don't want to do it right fine i'll do it myself like get get this guy out of your way he's stopping you get your mom out of your way she's stopping you I don't know what this car and other stuff was something about this car that car is what started the whole argument with this repair and everything it's like some weird thing like I have to end it I have to finish that era or something it was like super weird like it was all just like the first portion happened in eight days and then obviously after I got COVID I still wasn't done I was still getting punched like I was still getting punched but I just couldn't figure out like why the car was stolen and 